Hello everybody, this is Danny from Deep South Homestead. We're just going to show you all a video here. If some of you wanted to see uh, an update after the cold weather. You can see here that um, we had some frost on the ground this morning and um, I'm busily right now trying to uncover things. The strawberries give you a little bit of a show as to what they look like. We didn't have any damage on the strawberries this morning. So we was blessed in that area. We didn't lose anything. Um, you can see there, we see we still have some red berries on the plants there. So the cold didn't get to it. Our green beans, they fared well. Um, we have some ants in the pots, tried to build up and get around some of the pots. That was our biggest issue. We're going to have to try to, uh, figure out what to do about that. And you can see here, I'm still taking some of them off at, uh, Trying to beat some of the dirt out of them. There's lots of them I'm pointing out to Wanda here. That um, this one here was bit by the cold. It didn't make it, so you know it's not going to be doing anything. Even though you cover up your plants, sometimes you don't always um, you don't always win. You see here, I show this one here how the ants had already built up beds inside the bucket there. I'm kind of moving the dirt around, and stirring up the ants a little bit. We have actually several pots here that had some green stuff in them that the ants, that's what I'm doing there is where the ants had built dirt up around them. And here we have our sweet potatoes in the field. We noticed they've got a little bit of a dingy color to them. We're gonna have to give them a few days to see how they pull out to make sure that the cold did not get them underneath uh, the caps there that we had on them. I'll show you down the row here how they're looking. They kind of took on a dark purple look to them. We're hoping that that may be just a little bit of a lack of light. It actually, with sweet potatoes, it'll take probably a week before we'll know anything about it. And here, Wanda's uncovering some of the herbs, trying to make sure that none of them got bit, and they all look like they fared fairly well. Don't look like we had anything there to uh, to get bit very bad. And the stevia got a little yellow on one of them there but maybe we're hoping that they won't uh you know won't die on us there everything looks good okay y'all we're gonna close out here with a few more of the plants and um you see here this is what happens we keep telling y'all there's ants everywhere in here and a few more of the herbs they seem like they made it okay no problem there. The lavender, the rosemaries, they all, now the citrus tree did get bit a little bit. You can see the yellow leaves on it. The shrimp plant looks good. A little mystery plant, some kind of squash. We're not sure what it is. It looks like it turned a little yellow on us. Pineapple sage, it, it fared well. So, and the mulberries. We, um, we were afraid we we're gonna lose them all, but we still have some on the trees that are turning. Got some red ones here starting to turn. That's really early this year for us. So we're hoping that they actually don't fall off and continue to do good. Now here we're in the greenhouse. This is a moringa tree. And we have our comfrey. This is block four comfrey. You look down through the greenhouse here, you can see the different plants we have growing here. We have some tomatoes and this is our Marconi peppers here. They're doing well. This is our Chinese lettuce. We're letting it go to seed so we can harvest some seed this year on that. And you can see this is a cabbage we have here. We're just experimenting with one of them in the greenhouse here to see if it will actually grow or if it's going to bolt. We have sweet potatoes coming back up after we harvested them and planted them in the fields, so they were encouraged by that. And then an array of different house plants, pineapples and different things. These are our Amish paste tomatoes here that we'll be putting in the garden. These are tomatoes from our Pioneer Homestead box. We got different tomatoes growing in that. And our eggplants and our peppers. Also, as you can see here, the peppers are on the end there and the eggplants are in between the tomato plants. 
These are blueberry tomatoes. These things, they're so prolific. They just keep bearing and keep bearing and keep bearing. We picked so many tomatoes off of them. They're just growing all through the greenhouse here. About like a weed. And you come down here, you see our pepper plant. We have our uh, jalapenos and our bell peppers. We only got six of each, but we feel like that would be plenty. This is our Creole tomatoes. They're coming along fairly well. The walnut tree there in the floor. Bell pepper in the background. These are our fingerling Irish potatoes in the pots. We had them covered up. They turned a little bit yellow, but I think it was just due to the lack of sunshine. You can see here we're still uncovering them. They're, they fared well, didn't get bit back. They just need a little sunshine, turn back dark green again. So they done fairly well. This is our romaine lettuce, our green romaine. It done well in the cold weather. This is our red romaine lettuce. It did real good. Not having any problems with it. This is our <clears throat> mints and our block four comfries out here. This is our pear tree bloom. So I just want to take y'all today on this part of the journey. Ask y'all to join us tonight for our live stream at 8 o'clock Central Time from Deep South Homestead. Look forward to seeing y'all there. Thank you.